Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So today I would like to continue to wrap up all the things that need up wrapping. <laughs> and I have already uh, done a little bit for that off camera. Um, as I mentioned like two episodes ago, I thought it would be a good idea to do the glyphs off camera because I haven't really done many glyphs so far, two actually and there are 10 in this game. So I did it now and it took me about an hour maybe finding and solving all of them. I mean finding wasn't even the most difficult part because I could just go through the database and you know mark all the locations on my map. But solving them took actually quite some time so I think it was a good idea to do it off camera because I don't think it would have been a lot of fun to watch me do it. As a matter of fact I didn't really have much fun doing it myself because uh, the puzzles in this game they are not quite as well made as in the previous one. I mean some puzzles are basically the same sort you know you have to rotate discs and solve certain logic puzzles some of which are pretty difficult actually. But some puzzles seem to be utterly random, especially the ones where you had, had to pick a certain combination of photos. Um, I mean in the previous game, with a hint they gave you and a bit of background knowledge of mythology, I could usually figure out the pattern behind the photos. But in this case, I don't know, maybe there's a pattern and I just didn't see it. But in the end I was just picking photos at random until I got the right combination. And even once I found the proper combination, I still had no idea why these pictures were the correct ones. It just seemed random to me. I'm sure there is some sort of method behind it, but I didn't see it, so um, that was kind of tedious to do. Plus one of the glyphs was actually inside Castel Sant'Angelo. So, I totally should have done that while I was there the last time, uh, last episode. And I couldn't actually enter Castle Sant'Angelo now, not without triggering the next main mission. So what I did was I actually loaded an old memory when I was inside the Castello, you know, when I had to save Katarina. But instead of saving Katarina, I just went off on my own to find that glyph. Anyway, long story short, I found them all, I solved them all, it took me a long time, but I did it, and I did get something from it. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so um, let's do that now. I think it's still available in my database. Yeah, I can launch some mysterious file, so let's have a look at it. Do you want to launch this file? All progress since the last checkpoint will be lost. Yes, that's fine. Okay, um, I am Desmond now. So what do I have to do here? I have no idea, but I am inside the Animus in some Virtual world. Okay. This is new. Okay, I guess I have to climb this now. Okay, well, this is pretty straightforward so far. I just wish I could see ahead a little bit further. I feel very blind. <laughs> Okay, we need to climb even higher, apparently. Um, what in the world? <laughs> what was that? Um, this is very confusing.
Am I on a timer or something? But I don't see a timer. Apparently whatever I'm doing here is not what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Seems that this mission is just as confusing and random as the puzzles. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's try a different way here. So, what am I looking at here? We have a rotating beam, another rotating beam, and some stairs. Do we have to pick one of them? Okay. By the way, what is this over here? Does this have any function? <gasps> I have no idea. Well, now the things have changed their position. Okay, there must be some kind of logic behind this, right? Oh, apparently whatever I did, it was right now. That was weird. Um, okay. Now what? Oh, uh... Pff. Leap and a ledge will appear. Okay. And again. <laughs> Yep, this is a very confusing <laughs> level. So, can I just jump? Yes, I can. Compiling subsystems. Infrastructure. Tendons. Heart. Voice. Subject 16? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> Yes, Subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. Everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She. In Eden. Find Eve. The key. Her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. <laughs> Too weak. Must replenish energy. Don't go! I am with you till the end. Find me. In the darkness. Well? This is as cryptic as always. Oh no, and now I'm falling. I was kind of grateful for the subtitles though, because I probably wouldn't have picked up on the difference between sun and sun. Desmond, you're safe. We thought we'd lost you. I'm here. I saw 16, I think. Get up slowly. I don't know whether it actually happened. It feels like a dream. Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. The Animus is behaving normal. Take a break before going back in there, okay? <laughs> I don't think the animus is behaving normally. It's kind of bugging out. Sorry for frightening you. Don't worry about me. Okay. When you're <laughs> ready, let's continue. I think he's not supposed to... Yeah, he's not supposed to lie down. Um, and now I'm stuck inside the animus. Well, I, I can enter the animus again, so maybe that's what I should do. Good to go. Okay, I can I can enter the animus again. That was weird. I mean, the level was weird. The stuff um, Subject 60 told me was weird. The bug at the end was weird. Everything was just all around weird. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back here. And, well, I, I did solve this puzzle. I'm not sure if it gave me anything that I can work with at the moment. Maybe at some point it'll make sense to me. And I can actually um, exit the animus anyway, because 
there may be like new dialogue and stuff but I think I'll do this later maybe um, today I would like to continue uh, with these uh, bonus mission that I started way back at the early stages of the game so we have the Christina missions over here and we have the Leonardo missions over here so um, I have to decide what to do first I know some people told me that maybe I should save the Leonardo missions for after the game um, I think I'm going to do them before I finish the game I don't know it feels kind of anticlimactic to finish the game and then you know play these random unrelated side missions later so I kinda would like to finish everything now and then finish the game with the actual end but I think today um, we're going to start uh, with the Christina mission ladies first right so yeah uh, let's see what this is all about and I already see a lady over there probably not Christina but let's check it out Okay, where will you lead me now? Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Tell me, what can I do? My family's bodies. I can't just leave them hanging from the gallows. I need to give them last rites. Send them on to the next world. Capisco. Lead the way, Ezio. I just realized that his voice sounds different as a, a younger Ezio. I mean, it's the same voice actor, I assume, but he's actually changing his voice for his younger alter ego. That's interesting. Last rites. Give Federico, Giovanni and Petruccio Auditore a proper burial. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we should do that. Stay close. Escort Christina to the gallows. Um, okay, let's go. Oh, look at my tiny little health bar. This is rather unusual. I probably don't have any weapons either. No, I only have my fists. I haven't even gotten the hidden blade so far. I do have an assassin signal though, oddly enough, but I bet I can't actually use it. Segui, they've already been cut down. What are we going to do? Hide yourself. I'm going to have a little talk with that guard. Beat up the guard. Well, that's uh, no, one way to again. talk to him. Oh. <laughs> Well, you are quite a pushover, Ezio. Now let's do this again. Okay, well, the guard is quite a pushover Where too. Where are the bodies that hung here? They've already been taken. Where? Tell me where they are. I don't know. I think they were taking them down to the river to dump them. No. Let's do it. Christina, vieni con me. So, we're going to... Try to prevent them from getting dumped. Okay. At least the streets seem to be relatively safe. I do not see a lot of guards. But then again, I wouldn't know what to do if I meet any guards because <laughs> I have no weapons. I'm going to assume that my assassin signal is not going to work. Okay, I see a few guards now, so let's do? be careful. Only one thing to do. Kill them. No, don't do that. They did nothing wrong. They follow orders unquestioningly. That makes them... It's you? <laughs> Va bene. I'll sneak behind their backs. Get my family, one at a time if I have to. And carry them down to the river. Be careful. Okay, so we're going to sneak past them without killing them. Well, Ezio kind of gave up on that concept Love long ago. Um, I mean, I would try to uh, 
do a few missions like non-lethal if the game had a better mechanic for it. I mean, yes, you can fight them with your fists and disable them without actually killing them, but it takes a lot longer than, you know, killing them with your blade and a lot of missions don't really allow for that kind of time. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at them. Poor Petruccio, Federico. Let's carry them away. This is rather sad, actually. Okay. Let's put you down here. There seems to be another guard. Is he moving? Oh yeah, they are moving. So... Let's wait here for a moment until they have passed. Okay, where are you going to now? I hope you don't come down here. No, I think they... they won't. And they're not going to see me here. Okay. Now I can continue to... remove my <laughs> dead relatives. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Federico. Wow. <laughs> Somehow this is one of the grimmest mission I've done in this game so far. Um, okay, they seem to be pretty far away. So I think I have enough time to pick up my father. Oh no! Oh, that guy saw me. Uh, well, if I make it quick, I might be able to... Uh, nope, I'm not able to make it before they see me. So, let's Try to escape by swimming. Oh, there isn't really much that I can do here in order to escape. Because there's a wall over there. But maybe I can just swim away fast enough until they have forgotten about me. Okay, that works. So. I hope the guy is going to walk away. Um, well, because if he isn't, I'll have to beat him up. And there's really no other option here, right? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to... Oh, what? I didn't kill him! I didn't! I totally didn't kill him, I didn't even have a weapon. But apparently beating them up does count as killing in this mission. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to do this again. Okay. They are going to leave. So, maybe I'm going to start with him this time because he's the one where I got detected. There we go. That worked a lot better. Alright. Number one. Where are these guards at? They are still walking away. Finish moving? What the hell are you talking about? Is he not properly placed inside the boat? Uh, this is a very finicky mission. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Right, um, don't see any guards over there, so let's grab Federico. Put him down, and now we just have to bring over Petruccio. And I guess um, I'll have to wait for the soldiers to pass. Okay. And they don't seem to notice that some of the corpses are missing. <laughs> Okay, that should be far enough. All right, now let's take Petruccio and off we go. Okay, done. I have to leave the city. Christina, I want you to come with me. I want to. But I can't. My family. So we'll always be together, Christina. It's you. Okay, last rides. Is this all that I had to do in this mission? Apparently it is, but I already have a new memory of Christina. So where do I have to go for that? Okay, it's over here. So yeah, let's just continue with this. And I guess he's going to see her again at some point. We'll find out. Okay, so where is that memory? Presumably right over here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I guess it's not Christina. She just looks a little bit like her. Okay, let's follow her again. just came back to Firenze. Look at you. Beautiful as ever. But... Oh, it's so I... It's been two years! And I've thought of nothing but you. Oh, but it's you. <laughs> what is it? I'm engaged to be married. My father kept asking me to choose. I thought I would never see you again. <laughs> he lost money to. He's dragged them out to the end of the new bridge. Who the hell is Manfredo? My fiancé! Okay, so I'm going to save your fiancé now. Save Christina's fiancé, Manfredo, from the gamblers. Okay, well, I guess I can do that. Um, go to the new bridge. Oh, and I... I have a very short time limit here. And I'm already kind of notorious, for some reason. That sucks. Okay. Jump down here. 
Oh no, um... Ah, here we go. Where do I have weapons now, by the way? Well, I do have a hidden blade, so I guess I can at least use that. There we go. And yeah, this Ezio has little problems killing people. Grazie, Messere. You don't know how close. Oh, hey, Aspetta. No. What are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Christina, the woman you're about to marry. Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Kill me here and I will die still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, Messere. You will be a good husband to her. Or I will hunt you down. <laughs> kill you myself. Well, what was he supposed to say? You were about to throw him into the water. Surely he wasn't going to say, no, I don't love her. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. Mm -hmm. I made sure of it. What? Well, that was interesting. <laughs> well, I do hope he's going to be a good husband one way or the other. Whether it's because Ezio threatened him or not. <laughs> Okay, um, apparently that's not all there is to it. We still have another memory of Christina, so I guess uh, we're going to continue the story. Alright, Ezio, I hope you're finally done stalking this poor woman over here. Ezio, I was hoping to see you tonight. I don't have much time. The Doge's party starts very soon. Nevertheless, I have news. I hear Cristina Vespucci is in Venezia for Carnevale. Weren't the two of you close? Once. Perhaps it would have been better not to tell you. She's with her husband. She may not be too happy to see you. No. It's wonderful. It's Carnevale. With this mask, she need not even know it's me. I know just the way to draw her attention. Grazie, amico. <laughs> Because surely she's not going to recognize your voice or that scar on your face, right? <laughs> Plant a note on Christina to lure her away from the festivities. Okay. I can do that. Okay, Christina. Oh, I can actually read the letter. Christina, my darling, I must have you alone. Meet me in the alley. Ti amo, amore mio, your husband. Well, that's rather deceptive. So, um, where is she? Ah, okay. I see her. And I basically do this like I would steal, right? Okay, I just need to... There. Get close enough. Uh, wait her at the rendezvous. Okay. Let's do that. Wait for Christina in the alley. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Manfredo. When did you get so romantic? It's you! What the hell are you doing? 
you doing here? How dare you? Christina, it's all right. All right? I haven't seen you in eight years. See, I was afraid you wouldn't come if I just asked. You're right. I wouldn't have. Ezio, the last time I saw you, you kissed me in an alley and then left me behind to be married. It was the right thing to do. He loved you. Who cares what he wanted? I loved you. You had your second chance. Please, Ezio, don't ever find me again. Yeah, she kind of has a point there. I mean, just coming back every few years to steal a kiss from her is not, you know, the basis for a good relationship. <laughs> so it's it's either, you know, being an assassin or being with her. So, um, but apparently the story still continues. Um, I guess he just can't let go of her. So where do I have to go now? Um, okay, it's not that far away. So yeah, let's let's continue. Okay, uh, let's see what the next memory will bring. I wonder what happens if I just run in a different direction. <laughs> uh, the game would probably tell me like lost target or whatever. Manfredo! What happened? Men. Savonarola's men. They came through destroying everything. Where is Cristina? Manfredo! Where is she? She ran. They went after her. Oh dear. No! Well, maybe at least I can do her some actual favor, uh, finally. Love's labor law. Save Christina from Savonarola's men. Okay. Oh, and again, I have a very limited time to do that. Oh dear. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know if I can make this, to be honest. Your fancy house, your expensive dress. Okay, your here we go. The well, finally I have some real weapons here. Oh, and they're totally going after her. I need to prevent that, obviously. Okay, here we go. Christina, all done. I'll get you to a doctor. You're going to be all right. No, it's you. I don't think I am. No! Don't go. Stay with me, Christina. It's you. Don't you know? I've always been with you. <sighs> I wish we could have had a second chance. Oh well, no Thank happy you, end here. Yeah. My love. I mean, I obviously didn't expect them to get together again, but did she really have to die? <laughs> this is such a sad mission all over. Okay, um, I suppose this is going to be the last memory. I mean, what else could there be? <laughs> But uh, let's see, once we're back in Rome. Okay, apparently there's no new memory of Christina, so that was indeed the last one. Okay, so we finished this quest line. It was interesting, I mean, Ezio's stalkery behavior was borderline cringy at times. But it was nice to see that apparently Christina was not just some random woman because apparently he used to romance a lot of women when he was young in Fianza. So it was nice to see that apparently um, there was a little bit more to that other than some youthful infatuation. 
So yeah, um, we still have the whole Leonardo mission, but um, I think that's not what I will do today because it's already pretty late. But there are two more things that I want to do. First of all, leave the animus. And secondly, apparently there is yet another assassination. Yeah, it's hidden under the symbol for the hideout, so it's barely visible on the map. But there is indeed one more assassination contract. Uh, thank you for pointing that out in the comments. But um, I think I'm going to leave the animus first and um, see if we have any new content in the real world. Get up slowly. And we have actually Lucy who is back again. I don't know where you have been. Uh, let's talk to her. How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th, so that leaves us with 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. Okay. Um I don't remember the satellite launch. I guess it was mentioned somewhere and I forgot. <laughs> we're getting closer to the apple. I can feel it. If it were up to me, you'd take more breaks. Good thing the fate of the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Hey, joke all you want, but your mental health is a serious concern. It only takes a couple of months for most Animus users to exhibit extreme side effects, and you've been in for prolonged stretches of time. I'll rest once we have the apple. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> well, it's not much longer. The game is almost over, so maybe I can take a break soon. We'll talk later. Now get in there and find the apple. <laughs> We're counting on you. Well, so much for taking breaks. Okay, I'm on it. But let me talk to all the other guys first. That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm gonna be a more balanced person by the end of this? <laughs> oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying <laughs> that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on the tree duty. Deal. Oh, of course, yeah. You signed with her. Communists. <laughs> what does that have to do with communism? <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk later. Okay, she doesn't have any more dialogue. So, what about you, Sean? Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this, in 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinegalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and and killed a few weeks later. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver. Well, I guess he has a point. So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. <coughs> According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let's the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. Well, um, as far as I know, the popes and renaissance, they actually had quite a lot of sex and they had children and stuff, so I don't think they needed to know about Cesare's sex life. Maybe he just wanted to boast a little bit. I'm busy right now. Okay, I'll let you be. So, I guess I'm going to check my mails and um, I guess I'll try to interact with this again. But, yeah, it's not not working. I mean, someone suggested maybe it's because uh, Lucy wasn't in the room the last time. Maybe it only works um, at certain points in the game and I'm too late to actually interact with it, but 
It it doesn't do anything. I'm pressing all the buttons and it's not doing anything. I'm sorry. I tried. But let's have a look at the mails. So, we have new mails. Um, apparently this is about supplies. I'm going into town tomorrow for supplies. My list is below. Am I forgetting anything? Apples, melons, banana, mango for Sean. <laughs> Lettuce, cucumber, celery, tomatoes, carrots, eggs, milk, butter, fresh pasta, fresh bread, chicken, ground beef, bacon, Canadian if they have it, chimps, chips, hummus, buns, diet cola, orange juice, toilet paper, shampoo, batteries and red wine. <laughs> Sounds like a good list. A uh, quick update on our remaining counterparts around the globe. Moscow. They remain safe and secure and the, the lead they've been chasing is becoming more and more promising. It's checking out under cross-reference and they've been undisturbed by Templars to date. They're keeping security tight and staying vigilant, but it's nice to get some good news for a change. Sao Paulo has gone dark as per spec. The leak was confirmed and the team has set about smoking it out. They will likely move cities during their off the grid and will let us know where they are when they resurface. Osaka made contact, have yet to lose that trail, so have gone back under have gone back under until further notice. Denver, off the grid and this one isn't planned. It looks like we may have lost another one. Headquarters is investigating. Headquarters went to their safe house and everything was gone, which means one or two things. They were attacked and captured by Templars who took all their gear for analysis or they went cold red without warning and went off the grid with no time to notify headquarters. Let's hope for the latter. Okay, yeah, uh, we've heard about this before but uh, Sean has been withholding this from us at first but now apparently um, he told us anyway. And we have a new schedule. We have supper by Rebecca, but the rest is basically as it was before. Okay, let's check the other accounts too. Oh, she has a lot of stuff in her inbox. Um, beer, sausages, potatoes, okay, more additions to the list. Antibiotic ointment, ibuprofen, duct tape, and a couple DVDs if you can find English ones. Okay, this is an update again, just the same. What about drinking? Col colleagues, we have been cooped up in this dungeon for aged ages. It feels it's best for both our sanity and productivity if we go into town tonight and enjoy the local color. A bit of wine and maybe some music, please advise. Sounds good to me. He can't leave the sanctuary and I won't leave him alone. Okay, that's Sad. <laughs> what is this one? Hey Luz, Desmond was screaming pretty loud in his sleep yesterday. It's getting worse. I don't know if you heard it too, but I thought I'd let you know. I think I've re read this already. Yeah, this is all old stuff. So let's read Sean's mails. Let's see. Supplies status. From Willy Ma'am. Hello Sean. I'm still with the others. No disasters yet. It looks like Abstergo is focusing on their satellite instead of hunting for us so that buys some time. I'm worried about Denver though. Let's try to touch base at 3 a.m. You'll be You'll be up with Desmond and I'm having trouble sleeping these days anyway. The unexpected heat of this European fall is killing me. I don't know how you continentals handle it. You might as well pass the Denver info on how that it's escalated. They have the right to know. Okay, so he gave the okay that um, Sean can tell us and the rest is just the same. Oh, I see. I'm not supposed to leave... Um, as a sanctuary and that's why we can't have a night out in town. I see. A date with Sean. <laughs> yeah, you two should totally date. I agree. 
Um, relief. In my room on the windowsill. This is from Lucy. I have to check her mails later. Okay, what do we got here? Supplies, update. Where are the pain pills we have? I've got a ripping headache. Okay, so they were talking about painkillers. And um, there's one more mail over here. Misgivings. Lucy, the issues you raised in your last voicemail have taken me by surprise, to say the least. Think of all the work, all the stress and planning we've all put into this. We had our suspicions for years about Minerva, about that particular piece of Eden. Your tapes confirm that now we can study it and discover the truth. You've been waiting nearly a decade for this day. Don't put Desmond in danger just because of feelings you may or may not have. We're only going to get one shot at this with a short amount of time left. Don't fail us now, William. Okay, I wonder what that voicemail was all about. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to read it here because she didn't actually write it, right? So, yeah, there's some pieces of the puzzle I'm missing here. But okay, I think um, that's enough for now. And yeah, I think the episode is long enough, so I'm going to uh, end it here. In the next episode, I will take care of that one final assassination contract, and then we're going to start the Leonardo mission, and maybe we will be able to finish it, and then we can finally go back to the main mission and um, play until the end of the game. So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching, and see you again next time.